You ever have those days where you have PC issues all day, you can't get your computer's Bluetooth to work, and then you realize, oh, I still need to upload a video today because I haven't uploaded in two days. I was letting that Tears of the Kingdom review kind of marinate a bit. No, you don't have those problems? Well, I sure do. I guess PC problems run in my family, considering that my dad deleted Windows off of an old computer back in the day. Let's dive on into talking about people actually think that this new format's bad. Let's dive on into it, shall we? That lighting is much better. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo stain for all y'all new subscribers off of that like and subscribe button. Be sure to hit that ding dong taco bell notification bell so that we can climb even higher the now 1200 ladder. Uh, man, it feels good to say. I hope y'all are having a fantastic day as I try to center my ass here. There we go. That's much better. So, uh, I saw on YouTube earlier today as I was dealing with fucking PC issues, my Bluetooth no longer works for whatever reason, it just randomly stopped working. So I've got no sounds. I don't know how many I'm going to edit this video, but, um, I've seen people online on Reddit and YouTube and stuff saying that this is the worst format of all time. And I'm looking around the room like the format just fucking started, Sugar Boo Bear. Diabolsis is banned. It, it, it's what we asked for. It's like Santa came with our Christmas wish list and actually gave us what we wanted. <laughs> Other than a ban list with a fucking date instead of just in a few months, but that shit's never going to change. But all jokes aside, I don't really understand why people are saying that this is a terrible format. Was the ban list a terrible time to drop it? Yes, because in all of the years that I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively, for the newer subscribers, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! competitively since 2008, two weeks before the name of the Fusion deck got changed to the extra deck. So your boy has been through a lot of fucking formats. You name it, I've been through a Sugar Boo Bear. And there has never been a format, minus Pepe, but even then, that was not as bad in the regard of hitting new decks. We've never seen a ban list up until now where new decks like Super Heavy Samurai and Purely have gotten hit in any sort of form or fashion. Pepe was similar in the sense of, and I remember being at this fucking YCS because my butthole was getting torn apart and I was getting kicked on out of the venue. It was that bad. I was playing Cosmo and Pepe had just hit the scene and it's just swinging his thing like ain't nothing but a big old deal and it was whooping some ass. Big time. I, I remember my dad was still playing Chamberlain, as he always does. He was getting his ass kicked by Pepe. I was getting my ass kicked by Pepe, and I was playing Cosmo. It was rough. And, like, I, th I want to say it was, like, a week, a week and a half. I don't really remember. Uh, after the YCS in Atlanta in 2016, that all of a sudden we got an adjusted list uh, that hit Pepe. And Pepe was still a really good deck, even after that adjusted list. It was a fucking emergency ban list. Let's call it what it is. And I've seen a lot of people too saying, well, there's 25 changes on this list because it was an emergency ban list. That's why they dropped it at such an inconvenient time. And I really don't know if that's the case. I mean, you could argue that we'll never know, right? But I feel like with 25 changes and the decks that they hit, especially like super heavy and purely with them being so new, I don't think that it was really an emergency hit. I feel like they intended to hit, excuse me, hit decks at this point in time because you have to keep in mind too that what is it like two months after Cyberstorm Access, we get Duelist Nexus. Like we get Duelist Nexus like at the end of fucking July or something. So that's literally next month. So either A, Konami was going to wait until after Duelist Nexus dropped and give us a ban list. And then our this, what is now last format, last format is a six or seventh month long format where we're dealing with Diabolsis and shit like that, and the new decks can't really keep up, or they can drop the power level of everything at once, then when Duelist Nexus comes in, not only is it to push product, obviously, but then also all this new Synchro stuff has a chance to play in the big playground with all the big boys and girls. You know, instead of purely being too overpowered, and then that's running rampant in the next format, or Super Heavy's running rampant in the next format, you know, whatever the case may be, they hit everything at once so that everything kind of gets toned down so that when Duelist Nexus comes in, maybe then at that point, they kind of get back on a normal track of hitting the newer stuff or the older stuff, excuse me, and then letting the newer stuff like the Purely's, like the Super Heavy Samurai's come on in and then they can start wrecking the format and then the cycle repeats and repeats and repeats. Obviously, there's issues with the ban list inherently, like not having an end date and things like that. Um, but that's neither here nor there. That's semantics at this point that I think will never change. Um, but to say that this format is the worst format of all time when it just started, you know, 
that's really subjective, number one. And number two, I feel like if you're in a diverse format, then that inherently, objectively, is a healthy format. You know, you have people like, I'm going to get it right this time, MBT, not MDB, my dumbass. I can't read, apparently, or can't speak. P people like him liked tier zero, tier element format. And I mentioned the reasons for that in my response video to him and all that. Um, but there are people like me who don't. They would rather show that, hey, this is a tier zero deck. This is the issues that need to be hit and then hit it and then move on, you know, with whatever next format. And we're seeing a lot of diversity. Yes, I would argue that Cash Tira is probably still the most powerful deck in this new format until we get Duelist Nexus. Maybe then Man and Dean will do something or <laughs> the fucking Jack Atlas structure deck. Don't even get me started on that hot garbage. <laughs> but besides the point, uh, yes, we're going to be making a do not buy a Jack Atlas structure deck video later on, probably later on in the month. But they wanted to power everything down so that everything would have a chance to compete, and I get that. But I still feel like the format's too new to really say, oh, this is a terrible format. You know, you can pick up a variety of different decks and see some form of success, whether that's Cash Tira, Sprite Purely, uh, super heavy, even though they have to kind of commit more to the five summons and possibly get nibbed and stuff like that and whatever. But you have options. I mean, hell, I've been seeing people playtesting like straight Raid Raptors, Black Wings, uh, Trickstar, you name it. I'm seeing people playing a lot of different decks, and that's very healthy. That's very good to see. Dinosaurs, even, with their new support and Wild Survivors. Vanquish Soul, the Nouvelle's Hungry Burger Ritual shit, which looks like a lot of fun. I'm not going to lie. I hope it's actually kind of competitive. Um, but you have all these different things, and that's always a good thing whenever, you know, whether it's a competitive player or a casual player, can pick up a, a multitude of different decks and have the chance to do well. You know, this is coming from someone who's a competitive player who's like, I'm not picking up just a casual scrub deck. But, you know, not everybody wants to go to a regional or wants to go to a YCS. And I myself have learned this more over time, especially having friends that play the game more casually. Like, there's a buddy of mine who will just go to locals from time to time, and he plays branded, and he'll spend money on the deck, but he doesn't plan on going to regionals or anything. So like when Lubellions were, I think like at their peak, they were 94, 95 bucks, and now they're like in what, the 60s? Um, he asked me, hey, you know, should I pick up Lubellions? And I'm like, look, you're just gonna be playing at locals, pimp. You're not looking to top a regional or a YCS, go to nationals, whatever. You don't even really need Lubellions, I would argue, if you're just going to go to Locals. You know, there's a lot of different things that you can play at Locals. Trap Tricks, even, I meant to mention that deck earlier, Labyrinth. Um, there's a lot of things that you can play at Locals and get away with. You know, maybe the Hungry Burger Ritual stuff won't do anything on the regional or YCS level, but maybe at like an OTS Championship or your Locals or something, depending on like what's all there, then yeah, maybe it can do something. I mean, hell, look at my... OTS Championship Cash Tira deck profile. I basically just took MST TV's build, but besides the point, everybody was telling me, don't play the Adventure Engine, the Adventure Engine's bad, blah, 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 blah. And then your boy ended up going 4-1 uh, and then losing in the top eight, basically just because I misplayed because I could have negated my opponent's imperm with my fucking Linger Rebo, but I'm a smooth brain and I didn't do that because <laughs> or else I probably would have won. And so this, I would argue, is a great format. I would argue that this format's even better than last format for the simple fucking fact that Diabolsis is banned. Diabolsis was a bitch, ladies and gentlemen. And I remember looking at that card when it first got revealed. I'm thinking, that's going to be busted one day. It might take five, six, seven years, but it's going to be busted one day. And five, six, seven-year-old me, or at least back then, was right. And um, it, it's, it's great to see it go. Do I think that they should have hit things like Fenrir and Pressure Planet? Yeah, they should have. I think that they could have done a lot more. Um, but I think that we'll see those much harder hits once we get a new ban list. If I had to guess, probably around like what? We're in June. So like August or September, uh, unless they want to put us in like a two month long format and drop something after Duelist Nexus. But I don't think they're going to do that. They haven't done that since like what? Back in the COVID days of 2020. So I think that this format's fantastic. Of course, everybody's going to say this format's terrible. You could ban every single card under the sun, and there's always going to be someone that says the ban list is terrible. But that's what makes us all unique, because we can all have opinions. And some of us can go tell other people to go touch grass. And then there are other players that will say, Avery, your brain is nothing but booty booty butt cheeks. You don't know what you're talking about. And that's fine, too, Sugar Boo Bear. I still hope that you have an awesome day. And subscribe to the channel. And maybe even go check out my book. Link below in the description. Half of all proceeds go to the VHL Alliance to help raise awareness on the V. 
BHL cancer diagnosis that I have. I really do appreciate all the support. Shameless plug, I know. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below about all this. Do you like this format? Do you not really care? You hoping that the next balance kind of changes things up? But let me know all that and more. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.